What's up everybody and welcome to the second episode here of my yearly gameplay series on YouTube. Um, wow, we're actually first pick. That's pretty awesome. So we get to have uh, the hero that we actually wanted to play and that is of course Johanna. And uh, yeah, Johanna by the way, I'm pronouncing her the German way with a soft Y instead of a J. Because man, that's the way you do it in Germany. But yeah, Johanna is a really awesome warrior at the moment. I saw her, um, you know, a lot during the recent DreamHack tournament. She was frequently being used by Team Liquid, arguably the best European team there is at the moment. So you can't really say that she's not competitive. I mean, her damage output is not that great, admittedly, but she makes up for that in terms of tankiness. Um, crowd control abilities, peeling for her allies, which is another strong point here on the Johanna. Um, we're facing Keltas and Tychus so far, so that's a lot of damage coming in there. Uh, Rhaegar <clears throat> being chosen here by one of my teammates, that's fine. I mean, the Lightning Shield on myself could provide some more damage around me. Uh, Ancestor Healing, of course, is the single most potent... Um, single target heal, actually. So I'm not really too worried about our lineup. Um, hmm. Okay, we got another warrior. Um, I know that double warrior comps are fairly popular at the moment. And Anoop, of course, is still, like, one of the strongest, if not the strongest warrior at the moment. But, never mind. He decided to... Well, maybe he's gonna pick a Zeratul. That would be awesome, actually. Zeratul and Jaina. I would totally love to see that. <clears throat> um, Tassadar provides a little bit more support but at the same time is capable of dishing out some significant damage. So yeah, I agree, man. Zeratul and Jaina, that's just awesome. Not only is Zeratul a counter to Jaina, um, but also do they complement each other very well because he can set up the enemy team in a Void Prism. Jaina just follows up with a Water Elemental, Blizzard, and all the other goodness that she's capable of unleashing. So yeah, and we're facing a Nazebo. And here we are, right on the map, Garden of Terror, man. It's a fairly cool map. I still like it. I'm, I'm a big fan of the bigger maps like uh, Cursed Hollow, Dragonshire, or uh, Garden of Terror. I, I'm not a big fan of the smaller ones where, you know, uh, one bad team fight in the early game can basically deny you a good mid to late game, especially on Haunted Mines, for example. I really don't like that map too much. But... That's not our concern this time, and instead we should choose a level 1 talent. I always like to go for Regeneration Master on Johanna. Now I said it the English way, holy moly. On Johanna. Um, I'm probably not going to roam a whole lot, so we might actually also go for Reinforce. Let's take a look at the enemy lineup again. Tychus, Auto Attacker, but the rest of the team is not really that strong on basic attacks, so we're just going to go with uh, Regeneration Master anyway. And let's take a look at the other lanes. We have Savannah's in the mid lane supported by Zeratul. Should be okay. And we are going to face a very tanky, a very durable lane. A warrior against warrior. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to see a lot of action here. But you never know because Heroes is just such a fast-paced game. I'm just going to poke him a little bit here. Deal some first damage on him. Um, yeah. The Beatles are a little bit annoying to deal with here. Because um, Anubarak, especially if he gets like to level 7, he's just able to spawn so many of these little critters and they can really, really um, poke you quite a bit. Nice job, team. First kill on Tychus. I like it quite a bit. Let's try to get some wave clear done. This also another strong point here for the Beatles. They just soak a lot of fire from your minions and cause your lane to be pushed. And of course, they're also going to soak a lot of these tower shots, so yeah. Beetle builds, still very strong, still the way to go in most cases, I think. Here we go. Okay, Zero Tool rotating up, I uh, like it, especially because now it's the first night phase. We should definitely keep an eye on our allies here. Zero Tool wants to gank Anubarak, I like it quite a bit. Okay, we're gonna ambush him as well. Oh, there we go. Get out of here, son. And these top seats should be ours. Right, we're gonna help Savannah with the remaining three Shamblers. As you can see, nobody is soaking lanes at the moment, which is okay, I think. We're just going to go back top real quick, get that XP, and we're going to wait for the rest of our team to start the big garden terrace. Because, man, Johanna, or Johanna on her own, just can't do it. 
Good kill on the Tigers again. He must be a little bit salty by now. Good job. Okay, looks like my team wants to fight for the top terror. I don't really disagree here, so we're gonna support them. And level 4 talent, it's gonna be loss of hope. I've really come to like this talent quite a bit. Uh, it's just such a wonderful self-sustained heal. Uh, really good, gets you out of a lot of sticky situations. There you go, we don't see anyone from the enemy team on the minimap, so they have to be bottom. We should be careful. Uh, if you take a look at the small flower icon on the bottom left, all right, I'm gonna take the garden terror. Then you know that the remaining <clears throat> that the remaining seats are not gonna be enough to take a garden terror if it's closed. If it's open like that, then there are enough remaining seats on the map to summon one. Nice kill. My team is doing some work. I like it quite a bit. And another one. Boom. So yeah, we're just gonna split push this. Um, I'm actually not gonna go top because the noob is there. Instead, we might actually just, you know, throw down uh, an overgrowth there. Oh, Tyke is here as well. Okay, we're just gonna zone them a little bit. Oh. They are trying to lock me in, yo. That's not cool. Okay. Probably should throw an overgrowth drill. Okay, two people sheep. That's cool. And we don't want to take any unnecessary damage here. Just quickly rotate through the lanes, especially in the early game. And uh, my team has to be really careful right now not to fall victim to a gank or whatever. Just go. There we go. Another block away. Get hexed. Yup. Cool story, Tychus. We can actually deal some auto attack damage here. Too big of a big deal. Plan is gonna run out in 18 seconds. So yeah, just another overgrowth here. Block the way and get to safety. Or maybe fight the Luberak. He's been a little bit out of position. Mm -hmm. Oh, sick! Throw it into their pathing so they can't really um, escape that easily. Another overgrowth just in a blink of time. Oh, this could be a good one. Nice body blocking by the Rhaegar and. Awesome kill. The whole team has been, you know, grouping up here. Sylvanas providing some excellent black arrow support. I like it quite a bit. My team is doing a phenomenal job. Okay, level 7, I think we're going to take uh, the, the Crusade Marches on. Um, I really found Johanna's uh, trade to be ever so effective. And it's just awesome. Especially during the later stages of the game when you can get an, a, an additional... Uh, movement speed buff is just really awesome. And that Kel'thas, ooh, he needs to be careful because Kel'thas, not really the greatest hero when it comes to escaping. So yeah, he paid attention. He did not get ganked. Well done by him. Now we got to keep an eye out for mercenaries. Bright wing, ooh, a little bit out of position. Are they doing their siege giants? No, I don't. Ooh, Bright wing, what are you doing? Get the mercs, get the mercs. That's more important right now. Okay, get them, get them. Yep, and a big success. You didn't get to slow her. We're almost level 10. There we go. Blessed Shield is the way to go. I found that ultimate or that heroic ability to be a little bit more effective. It's hard to land, but I think it has more impact on a team fight than Falling Sword. We're not soaking top lane, by the way, which is okay because we're almost two levels ahead. Actually, we are, in fact, two levels ahead, so. We should prepare for the next night phase. There we go. Get the shamblers, get the big garden tears, and maybe even get... Oh, Tychus, that was a mistake. You never, ever use your dash to uh, go in that aggressively. It's just a no-no. You don't do that with Vala. You don't do that with Tychus. Just don't do it. Okay, the enemies seem to be here. At least Nazebo. Second Shamble is cleared already. Let's just kill the Siege Giants here before they can do any more damage. There we go. Okay, now the red team has their first Garden Terror, which is okay. I mean, they still don't have the Roik, so we could, in theory, force another team fight for these seats here. On my way, guys. I'm gonna scout here, because as a durable warrior like Johanna, you want to do that. Up, boys. There we go. Take the regeneration globes. 
keep scouting, keep zoning, they might turn around and come from the right now. Nope, they don't. Okay. Alright, we have enough seeds, now it's time to defend here against the planter, against the enemy team. Let's see what we can do. Overgrowth has to die first. Now we could maybe even initiate. There we go. Bless shield is super awesome. And one down. Two people trapped in the Void Prism. I like it very much. A Zebo should fall to uh, zero tool. Nope. Good healings by the Brightwing. Oh man, he interrupted my teleporting with a uh, living bomb. I should really go there, on my way. Oh, nope, the planter once again uh, denied me. Okay, can we now port back please? <laughs> okay, we still have a little bit of time, so here we go. On my way guys, don't worry. Alright, so uh, we have a really long terror now, 1.30. And uh, their terror just, you know, expired, which is really good. Buys us a lot of time to do some shenanigans. Mid keep, or mid fort rather. Um, bottom fort is still available. Um, Tychus has to be careful because we can slow him down with the, um, you know, transformation. He has to be really careful right now. Okay. Water elements have popped. Just gonna try to absorb some damage. Tychus did. I like it. Overgrowth being thrown down. Can we even get that? Okay, we do have a blessed shield, so just be careful, guys. Okay. Time to heal ourselves with Laws of Hope. Our Rhaegar unfortunately had to, you know, bite the dust, so it's time to go back. Uh, take Mercenaries, guys, that is the most important thing to do when you just got an objective like a Ford and you basically harmed the enemy team quite a bit, pushed them back into defense. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna soak a little bit and then get Mercenaries as fast as possible. Let's see, how much spell damage do they have? They have a Kel'thas. So yeah, we're definitely going to take Spell Shield. Spell Shield is like the MVP talent whenever you play against a Kel'thas or a Jaina or even both. Thank you, Jaina, buddy. Appreciate it. Alright, take the globe. Uh, we haven't really accumulated that many globes because we are uh, we were not roaming that much during the early stage of the game, but it's okay. Rhaegar has been doing a great job thus far. In fact, the whole team has been playing really well, which uh, you know is the reason why we are like one level ahead, which is great, of course. Um, the map is actually balanced. Both mercenary camps have, or all three mercenary tanks have been taken. Mercenary camps, Kendrick, get your shit together. Now we gotta be careful. Savannah's is clearing the bot lane. It's another night phase. They are probably gonna take top here. But I really want to be the first one. Like, if they would have, you know, went down here to the bottom terror, I should have been the first one to encounter. So you always wanna make sure you have that good positioning as a warrior like Jaina. Uh, like Jaina, like your Johanna. <laughs> okay, there we go. That garden terror fell quickly. I'm just really. Uh, I'm just gonna get the next plant terror real quick so we can maybe use it to fight for the second seat on top lane. Nope, they were fast enough. Okay, so now it's a different story. Now you want to make sure, like, how long are they gonna take uh, to take their plant terror. You really want to make sure... Okay, never mind, I need to defend. Yeah, but uh, what I was saying is you don't want to waste it too, far, too early, right? You want to make sure when do, does the enemy take it so you can get a good team fight. Talking about good team fights, I really have to hurry up because my team, uh oh, is in a bad position here. That was some really bad positioning by our, oh, by our Jaina, I think. Maybe we can get some more damage done here. Get the right wing, perhaps. Or the Kalthas, or just anyone. 
to that our um, Terra is almost dead, or actually dead already. <laughs> but the good thing is, like, we delayed them from taking their Terra, so we're now on the offensive somehow, even though our Jaina went in like a mofo. There we go. Now they took it up, they didn't miss it, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to retreat, we don't want to fight against the Garden Terror. Really don't want to do that. Yeah, no problem, Jaina. At least she saw that she was doing a mistake there. And she's not blaming anyone else, that's cool. But nobody's been blaming her in the first place, so it's all good. Okay, look at Joanna, she's so tanky. Oh, uh, Jaina really has to be careful this time, though. Well, I might be the one to get focused, but uh, the enemies don't really do that, which is good for them. Be careful. Okay, Tychus is way out of position. Oh my lord. Oh my goody goodness. And now we can take the planter. It's pretty low already. Pull him closer. Is there two diving deep? Good. Now maybe get the new rack in the back line. Slowing him. Oh, nice slow. Can we get another slow? Ah, I don't think we're gonna get him. Shield's too strong, and the plant terror is still causing some uh, trouble in the back lines. But it's Nazebo. Nazebo doesn't really have a good escape other than uh, sprint. I'm not even sure if he took it. Yeah, now it's too late, buddy. The doggy, aka Rega, takes a bite. I love it. Hey, leave me alone. Leave me alone. There we go. So yeah, that was a really mm, messy team fight, I would say. Um, I mean, Tychus was so out of position. Um, it basically gave us a team fight without one of their assassins at the very start, which is a huge thing. And Jaina actually, you know, she actually managed to keep a better position this time after kind of failing in the last engagement. Which is all good. Next night phase. We should actually try to look for a fight because I just think... Um, we have a better coordination than them, but let's see. Hopefully that's not gonna bite me. <laughs> okay, minions should be able to deal with these mercs. Um, they're getting top, which is fine. Zertrul's just scouting a little bit, okay. Whoa, 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 we gotta be careful here. It's a lot of spells being used by them though. Oh, did he just fail blink? Let's let's pretend we did not see that. <laughs> okay, if if I were level 20, I would have totally gone in with indestructible, but I might even just do it as it is. Oh, good boy, Prism. We can maybe collapse collapse on them here. I'm getting a wow, good fucking ancestor healing, baby. I love it. Just gonna run. Maybe they they're gonna chase me. So uh, there you go. Maybe get the Kelthas. You know, Anubarak is just chasing me, I also got Brightwing next to me, and the Kel'thas. That allowed our team to actually get a really good result here. Mm, shield, get the Kel'thas guys. Water Entomans is still on him. Ooh, we gotta be careful now. Ooh. That team fight looked a lot better than it actually did um, turn out, so uh, a little bit surprised. We need to get that planter ASAP and get me there. Nope. Nice, we got it. That was really, really close. Good job, good job, Mr. Zeratul. I think it was Zeratul, right? Yeah. Alright, we actually need to regenerate some mana, so we're just gonna take a sip from the healing fountain. Okay, let's go. Now, which lane is the most weakened one? Actually, they're fairly healthy. They're trying to stop the Garden Terror. Um, we need to help it out as quickly as possible. Oh, Tychus. He did it again. He used it offensively, and now he's going to pay for it. Now he's going to pay for it. Oh, 
gazebo. Get here! There we go. That's another good synergy actually on that map. Johanna with her uh, Condemn puts targets back for the Garden Carriage to hit. So that's really awesome. Two people dead. We can definitely make something happen here. There we go. Indestructible. Level 20 is just huge, uh, huge boost in Johanna's power level. Indestructible, probably one of the best warrior talents in the game right now. And with my tankiness, I think we can actually try to... Uh... Oh. oh! Okay, that's another ult. Get the keep, guys. Don't go too ham. Don't go too ham. Just get the keep and be done with it, right? Ooh, careful. Look at that movement speed. It's absolutely awesome. We should go back. We should go back, take some mercenary camps, play it safely. And actually we could use um, the time we have to go back, regenerate some mana and health so that we're full and replenished for the next team fight. There you go. We now know that they're bottom, so we could play a little bit defensively, take our own uh, Bruiser Camp here, or go offensive and try to disturb them, but I think it's safer to actually take our own Mercs. That's a fine call. We are level 20 though, so we might actually look for an active engage here. We might actually try to contest bottom. But by the time, uh, by the time they're gonna have shamblers, I th yeah, okay, my team is doing exactly that. Nice call, nice follow-up. Okay, wait for me though. I should be the first one to enter the fray. Oh, Tychus! Oh, oh my God! I'm, am I locked into the zombie wall here? What's what's going on? Okay, Tychus is dead. That's good. Get the Nubarak, maybe. Get the Nubarak, come on, guys. Or the Nazebo. Fine with both. Oh! The Indestructible! Oh, man. For some reason, we didn't get Kel'Thas, though. Oh, the minimap. Minimap owned me. Did you guys see that? Unfortunately, I clicked inside the minimap, and that made Johanna run back towards here. I'm not sure if I could have maybe made it, but... Uh, that was not a good team fight, and I think he's right. We really should have focused Kael'thas here. He was basically allowed to deal some heavy damage onto us, even though the Tychus died early. Hmm. Okay, all three lanes are getting pushed in by the mercenaries. That's a little bit unfortunate, but Sylvanas is actually taking matters into her own hands and clearing that shit. Very nice. But at the same time, we have to be careful because, man, the Garden Terror is still pushing in. And if we don't defend against that, he might actually be able to take the first keep. And, uh, yeah, the last few engagements weren't really that convincing, I gotta admit. Mm, not really sure. Let's take a look at the damages here. Zero tool. That's okay, actually. Damage-wise, it's okay. I think we're just lacking a little bit of focus there. Okay, we're back to town. Going in, don't chase too far, careful guys, they might actually reinforce their plant terror. Okay, just get it. Get it. And now kill the person inside. I'm gonna pop the shield so we don't get hexed. Yep. And Kel'Thas is... Whoa! Oh, I was about to pop my ult there. But luckily it was not needed. They didn't get a keep, so it's all good. Let's see, four people missing. They're probably doing mercenary camps. This time we should actually clear Siege Shines and Bruises as fast as possible. Zertual, you need to be careful, man. I'm just warning you. Oh, they had enough seats to get another plant terror? That's bad news, actually, guys. Holy mo. Okay, mercenary's dead. Oh, we're trying to ambush them? I like it. I sort of gave it away. But I think we should be able to steal the mercenaries. Maybe even kill a new... Oh man, we didn't get him. That's... Oh man. Very unfortunate, but we might be able to get Tychus here. Okay. 
There we go. Tyke is, as always, out of position, man. I, I feel sorry for him. I'm sure he must get flamed a little bit by his teammates. A little bit rightfully so, but still. It's not very nice. Let's clear the last mercenary on the lane here. Alright, and now we join the team. I like our team's decision, by the way, to play a little bit more aggressively right now, because the enemy team is one man down, and by playing aggressively ourselves, we force the enemy garden to uh, defend. Okay, we're, we're retreating now, apparently, so... Forget what I just did. Careful, guys, careful. Okay, get, get them, get them. Maybe even get the Brightwing here, she's a little bit locked in. Ooh, that was a huge flame strike here. Careful, guys. Oh my god. Oh, we got the noob. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. Careful. Okay, we got the planter here. Okay, get some movement speed here. Slow them down a little bit. I got this indestructible. There we go. Thank you for the ult. Okay, Odin, wasted. <laughs> Super wasted. Okay, I'm showing my team to defend against their planter that is still marching towards our base. Okay, refresh mana and help the team. Well, we might actually want to defend here. Let's see, it's just Tychus, okay. Lost the keep, unfortunately. That's a lot of spells being used on myself. We really have to take care of that Kalthas. I mean, he's playing very well. He's never really out of position. Okay, there we go. Night phase. Planter is almost gone. We can actually pop the person inside, perhaps. Maybe, oh, that might have been an early uh, ult by me here, but we need to really collapse on them. Get the Bright Wing. Awesome sauce, guys. Now group them up, get them all, and they don't have any healer available right now. Pike is dead. Okay. Get the noob. He's a little bit out of position, guys. Get him. Slow him down a little bit. Pop him up and pop him up, and we can actually get a fort here. Or a keep, rather. Yeah. Mid is a good call. Death timers are huge after 20 minutes, so we can actually maybe even end. Okay, and end. Yep. Good calls, um, good team synergy. The focus was a little bit lackluster, especially during the later stages of the game, but I think all in all we can't really complain. We were a little bit low on damage because of our double warrior lineup, I think. But uh, it was definitely a good game. I totally agree here with Mr. Zeratul. So, man, GG, guys. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned a little something. I hope you were entertained. Did I not entertain you? As Russell Crowe would have shouted in Gladiator. So, yeah. I hope you're going to tune back in for the next episode of Hero League with Kendrick. If you want to see a particular hero, like, say, Vala or Illidan. If you want me to play something else or to totally random just let me know in the comments and um, if you have any other constructive criticism feel free to share it i really appreciate it thank you very much for watching guys and talk to you next time oh and by the way just in case you are a curious person and you want to see the stats there we go <laughs>